Uh, Ryan, I mean, besides the rush shooting, uh, we've also got our first look tonight at what happened inside that Albuquerque school bus when it was involved in that horrible rollover crash just a few months ago. We know that some of the kids were hurt, some of them seriously, but I got to be honest, after you see the video that you're about to show, it's unbelievable the outcome wasn't worse here. Tessa, the video is hard to watch. Yeah. Nobody died, but what you're about to see was what it looked like inside the school bus when somebody slammed into it, knocking the bus onto its side, and a half dozen kids or so were, were thrown around. And a warning this video is difficult to see. The school bus driver can see it coming, but there's nothing he can do. A car T bones the bus, causing it to flip onto its side. Middle schoolers from George I. Sanchez are sent flying. If you slow down the video from this angle, you can see it's a white car ramming the bus just feet away from unsuspecting kids. Remarkably, nobody dies. They were racing. The school bus driver tells police what he saw. So there were two uh, white car and the, the Mustang that's there all damaged. They were speeding on each lane, and uh, the guy didn't have nowhere to go. But when I was across, he just, this guy was beating him, so he just went straight into me. Police say the man driving the mangled Mustang was Mario Perez. I'm not going anywhere. No, I'm not going anywhere. I can't even walk. So. Perez, seen here in a hospital bed, is told by officers he's now in police custody. They do not discuss the details of the crash. Police then interview witnesses. So you said you saw the white Mustang and the blue Mustang racing, is that correct? Oh, yes, at a high rate of speed. How fast do you think they were going? Honestly, if I had to guess, I would say like 110. They were going fast. Seven kids were taken to the hospital for injuries ranging from bruises to a broken leg. Perez is charged with reckless driving, causing great bodily harm, and prosecutors tried to keep him in jail until his trial. But Judge Elisa Hart let him out of jail earlier this month with some conditions. And you're not to drive while this case is pending. Any questions about that? No, ma'am, not at all. And what about the other alleged driver that was racing with Perez? Well, we asked APD about that, and they say they have some strong leads on the other alleged driver, and this investigation continues. Guys?